planning a wedding. Okay, Joe and Peter are planning a wedding and they are, and they are approached by two wedding organizers with the following plan. So this is Joe and this is Peter and they are in love with each other and they want to marry and they have to plan the marriage. Okay, so again in marriage you need maths. You can't be, uh, you can't plan something without doing some maths. Okay, so this is the, this is the plan. So blissful marriage planners, they say they've got a fixed charge of $500 and $15 per guest. And if you want to write this as an equation, we'll see for charge, so C for the total charge, would be 500 would be 500 plus 15 times guest or the number of guests so I'll write 15 G 15 G stands for 15 times G where G stands for the number of guests that they are inviting the perfect wedding planners have this plan which is 20 G plus 100 where what what does this mean this hundred is a fixed charge and they're charging $20 per guest Okay, so we need to answer these questions. If both the organizers are equally famous, decide which organizers, which organizer should Joe and Peter choose if they are planning to have 75 guests? That's one question. Whom should they choose if, they are, if there were more than 150 guests? And if the third question is if they decide to go with blissful marriage pl planners, how many guests can they call with? three thousand two hundred dollars so these are the three questions now to answer these questions uh, let us make up a table so for uh, for blissful we have got this equation C is 500 plus one uh, 15 G and for perfect uh, wedding planners we have the equation C is let us write 100 first, 100 plus 20G. Okay, so let us make two tables. So G for number of guests and C for cost. So let us start with zero. Uh, we need say 10, 20 and 30. Okay. And also let us go up to say 100. Okay. And again here we are going to make C, G and C. C for cost and G for number. So 0, 10, you can take any numbers, 20, 30 and 100. Okay. I'm, so for this, this will be 500. So let, us, let me write this. So this is 500 plus 15 times 0. So 15 times 0 is 0. So when there are 0 guests, you have to pay $500. That's a fixed charge. For 10, this will be 500 plus 15 times 10. Now 15 times 10 is 150 and 500 plus 150 is 650. Okay, for 20, it will be 500 plus 20 times 10. Oh, sorry, 15 times 15 times, so 15 times G, so 15 times 20. So 15 times 20 is 300. You can use a calculator. So this is 500 plus 300, which is $800. For 30, it will be 500 plus 15 times 30. 15 times 30 or 15 times 3 is 45, so this is 450. So this is 450 plus 500, which is 950. And finally, for 100, it is 500 plus 15 times 100. So this is 1,500, and so this would be 1,500 plus 500, which is 2,000. So this is for. So let me use a different color. So yeah. This will be 100 plus 20G, so this is 100, so let me show the working, 100 plus 20 times 0, 20 times 0, so this is 0, so that is $100. That's a fixed cost, and there are 10, you go 100 plus 20 times 10, 
20 times 10 is 200, 200 plus 100 is 300 dollars. I'm not writing dollars, I don't have space. So this is 100 plus 20 times 20. 20 times 20, this is 400, so this is 500. Okay, so this is 100 plus 20 times 30. 20 times 30 is 600, so this is 700. Okay, and finally, when it is 100, it is 100 plus uh, 100 times, or 20 times 100, 20 times 100. This is 20 times 100, so this is 2000, so this will be 2100. So this is 2100. Now if you have, okay, so this is, hopefully I've not done any silly mistakes here. Okay, so let me confirm. So this is 2000 plus 100. Okay, hopefully I'm right. So I'll check this on a calculator later on. So let us plot this point, these points on the graphic calc or on this graph. So I have gone only up to 2000, so that's fine. So I'll write G for number of guests. So this is the number of guests. On x-axis, we are taking the number of guests, G. And on the y-axis, we are taking cost, which is in dollars. So let us start with the blissful marriage. When it's zero, it is 500. So zero, 500. So let me use the blue, uh, brown color. So zero, 500. So this is going up in hundreds. So this is 400, so 500. So I'll not plot all the points. So let us take, uh, say, for 1, so for 10, it is 650. Uh, it is going up in 100. So okay, let me take a tip. When it is 20, it is 800. So this is a neat point. So 2800. So this is 20, this is 800. So let me plot one more point, one more point, which is neat. And when it is 100, it is $2,000. So I've got 100, 2,000. So 100 and 2,000 is here. So this is the equation or this is the line. So let me draw a straight line. So this is a straight line. So join these points. So I can name this blissful. This is the blissful marriage party. This is the blissful. And uh, the equation is C is equal to, what is the equation? Is 500 plus 15G. 500 plus 15G. Okay, so let us plot the other graph. For a perfect wedding, when it is zero, it is uh, 100 so let me use a red color so 0 100 is here okay that is a neat point next point 10 300 so 10 300 is here okay the next point let us plot 30 30 when it is 30 it is 700 when it is 30 it is 700 so 30 this is 700. Okay, and can we plot 2100? We cannot plot. So if you want to plot, uh, let, let us plot one more point. So if it is say 80, yeah. So let us take, make up a point here. When it is 80, yeah, it will be 100 plus 20 times 80. 20 times 80. So this is 1000. 1,600, so 1,700. So I think I can plot 80, 1,700. 80, this is 80. So this is 80 and 1,700. So 1,700 comes, this is 1,600, so this is 1,700. So can you see this point is a common point for both these equations. So this is an interesting point. So this is an interesting point. So let us draw the line. So 
let us join. So this is the equation for perfect wedding. This is perfect. And the equation is C is equal to 100 plus 20G. So here, this is a point where the prices become equal. So if you want to extend this, suppose let me catch the tail and extend it. Okay, so this will go like this. Okay, so this is somewhere 2100. So beyond 80, perfect till 80, blissful is cheaper. Okay, till 80, blissful is cheaper. Uh, sorry, till 80, perfect is cheaper. Beyond 80, which is cheaper, perfect, uh, blissful becomes cheaper. Okay, can you see? Uh, till at 80, their prices becomes equal. So if you look at uh, perfect wedding, the prices are less than blissful till 80. So let's look at the graph and answer the question. So if for question A, if they are planning to have 75 guests, which would be better? For 75 guests, so let us say this is a point. For 75, so this is 70 and this is 75. So I'm making a guess from the graph. I can see it is underneath, so perfect is better for 75. Okay, so I think from the graph I can say perfect is better from the graph because it is less than blissful. Whom should they choose if there are more than 150 guests? Okay, so if there are more than 150 guests, see from beyond 80, beyond 80 blissful becomes cheaper. So if there are 150 guests, this is going to go up and this is going to go down. So the gaps are going to increase beyond 80. So if there are 150 guests, blissful is cheaper. Or this is what uh, they should choose for blissful. And finally, so let me remove, okay, let us finish it off with this. If there are, if they, if they can afford for 3,200 and they're choosing for blissful, how many guests can they choose? So let me show the working here. So I'll write 3,200 is equal to 500, 500 plus 15G. So the first thing that we need to do is you need to do 3,200 minus 500. That gives you, so let me delete this. So what is 3,000, what is 3,500, sorry, 3,200 minus 500 uh, is, so let me write here. So this is equal to 15G. So let me get my calculator so that I don't make mistakes. So this is 3,200 minus 500. That is 2,700. So you can say 2,700 is equal to 15G. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 15. So G is 2,700. So 2,700 divided by 15 will give you the number of guests. So we, they can choose, they can call 180 guest for if they can afford to uh, have $3,200 spent in their marriage.